Hello, Kurt Hothbeck here, field agronomist with Pioneer in Southeast South Dakota. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about Famasafen herbicide carryover into corn. Let's look at a field that is showing Famasafen carryover symptomology here today. Famasafen is the active ingredient in such herbicides as Reflex, Flexstar, and Prefix. Let's take a closer look at some of the individual plants that are showing symptomology of Famasafen herbicide carryover. The telltale sign with Famasafen carryover is you'll see some whitish to brown intervenal striping that run parallel to the length of the leaf. Some plants may appear tied up, buggy whipped, or even maybe wilting. And these plants may stay stunted for a period of time. Hopefully the nodal root systems will continue to pull up nutrients and water to outgrow the carryover uh, that persists in the soil. But adequate moisture and available moisture in the soil profile will be very important to allow that to happen. Other post-PPO herbicides that are available to help control water hemp uh, in soybeans later in the season uh, without the 10 month crop rotation interval back to corn would be products like Cobra, which has a zero uh, crop interval rotation to corn. And uh, Ultra Blazer would be another option uh, that has a 100 day crop rotation interval back to corn. So recommend uh, you know, switching to those alternative products if you do have to make later applications in your previous soybean crop to help control uh, you know, weeds like water hemp uh, that may be persisting later into the season. In addition to drought years, drier soil types, uh, you also see a higher incidence of Famasafe and carryover on uh, sprayer overlaps uh, from the previous season. Uh, typically on your headlands, uh, you know, when turning. Another place you can find potential Famasafe and carryover into corn is where there is low organic matter in or across portions of the field. So the question is, how does this Famasafe and carryover occur into corn? Well, a likely scenario is some late post applications of products that contain Famasafe and active ingredients such as Flexstar were probably applied post in soybeans the previous year. It's important to note that there's a 10 month crop rotation interval to corn when using Famasafe and products. So for many of us in South Dakota, it'd be important to stop spraying a Famasafe and product post uh, prior to say June 20th to avoid any carryover concerns into corn the following year. Uh, other options with the same PPO uh, herbicide classification that could be used later than that date uh, would be products like Cobra or Ultra Blazer. That will help uh, in your control of late water hemp escapes in your soybeans without the concern of having Famasafe and carryover uh, the following year into corn. Why this persists more in dry years is because of the lack of microbial degradation uh, because of the dry soil environment and it just persists longer in the soil due to that reason. So drought years, dry soils, um, you have a higher likelihood of having potential Famasafe and carryover to occur. So pay attention to your calendar dates when applying these products post in soybeans, uh, switch to other alternatives, and uh, make sure you control water hemp early by using a pre in your herbicide program the previous year so you have less need to apply such products late in post applications in soybeans. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.